Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's Caden Live tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do really simple lower third titles. If you're not familiar with lower thirds are, it's pretty much text on top of your videos. Now within Caden Live, there are some pre-built titles. If you go here on the drop down, you add template title. There's like three of them. And so the first one, it's just scrolling text and I'll show you how that looks like. You just scroll the title clip here and as you see there there is some scrolling text very simple and then uh, there's two other ones that are pre-built uh, this other one looks nice uh, but very basic so you can see here it's like more broadcast looking you see there okay so there's just text and graphics overlay and then the final one is just a really uh, simple text. See here. So it's just a text and it goes right in the middle. You see there. And uh, once I, I drag it down here. And there it is. Okay, so those are the ones that are pre-built into Caden Live. But what we actually want to do is create our own. So I'm going to remove these right here. Okay, so now we can actually create our own title clip. I'll go right here add title clip and what I like to do is show the background so I can see my text over my video now the options you have here it's really basic you could actually add text you could add a rectangle you could add an image and you can also save this as a template as well um, and then you could reuse it later by opening it but you can also download some pre-built titles there is a lower thirds pre-built one right here that you could download uh, but they're very basic um, but it's up to you. You can just download and use them if you want to try them out. So what I want to first do is actually add text. So I already have text selected. Just go ahead and type in my text. Okay, and then you could move this around. And as you can see now, you know, it's really hard to see. You can change the color, the text style if you want. Uh, but what you want to do is add a shape. And the only shape that you have available is a rectangle. So we'll go right here. And right now my rectangle actually covers my text, which is not what I want. So if you go up here, you can move it. So it's lower object to bottom. And now it's at the very bottom and you can adjust this accordingly. Now there is an option here in Caden Live to add animation, but honestly, I don't like the way it looks. So I typically don't use this at all. It's not very intuitive and it's very basic. Now, if you want to save this, as I said earlier, you can save this as a template title and then you could reuse that later. But I'm going to just use this for now. So let's see how this looks. So this one's really simple. It's just going to pop up. So there's my lower third title. But now you actually want to do some cool things, you know, add some animation. And the easiest way to do that is to use compositions. This is previously called transitions. And there's a lot of them up here. Uh, but the one that I like to use is wipe because it allows me to do many different types of transitions So what you normally do is you just move this down here And right now I'm using Caden live version 19.04.1 uh, and there is a bug to where whenever you put a transition or composition at the beginning It covers the entire clip and now you're gonna have to re resize it. Um, I really don't like that uh, so the one I like is before wherever you add it see it automatically resizes it or sizes it correctly in terms of time so anyway that is a bug but let's go ahead and move on with what we have here and so right now the transition or the effect that's added is dissolve that is the default so it fades in and then it should fade out so that's very simple but what's cool about the whole white effect or composition is you could actually change the type of transition that you want and so there's a whole bunch here uh, that you can use and so here's one right here we'll just make this simple i'll just use this bilinear see it just scrolls in and like i said there are others that you can use right here uh, so you could just uh, play around with that but you could also uh, download additional uh, wipes as well which is awesome uh, and they have quite a few so you could download some new ones and just play around with those okay so let's just say I wanted to use this one right 
and now I wanted that same effect at the end so we'll go ahead and choose that same effect but this time I want it to go the other way okay so right now it is already revert so it comes in and then it should come out see so it's already there and as I said earlier you could try many different effects or styles that you like you know like for example maybe I want to try this clock I probably won't use a clock effect but who knows you know you can choose what you like and that came in really fast and anyway that's how you create very simple lower thirds within Caden Live um, the method that I like to use is I will go ahead and create the title but then I will use this white composition uh, to actually uh, put that there and it looks great to me you know and it works it's very simple and uh, it's something that you could actually just really have a lot of fun with and if you wanted to create some more complex lower thirds you could definitely play around uh, with your edit clip you know just try different shapes you could even use this animation if you wanted to um, but uh, within Caden Live, there's not a lot of advanced way to do lower thirds pre-built. And so uh, that is it for this particular video. If you had any other thoughts on creating lower thirds within Caden Live, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I will also leave the playlist in the description as well. So if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.